Before we begin, know that this presentation is based on the original PDF uploaded on eLearning. A great day to everyone. I hope you're all in good health. Welcome to part 4 of this NoSQL video series. In this video, we will cover graph databases, which is one of the four types of NoSQL database. So, let's begin! A graph database organizes data in a form of a graph. So, in this context, a graph database represents a mathematical graph. Specifically, a graph database will typically be a directed graph. If you can still remember your mathematics, a directed graph is a special type of graph where edges always have a direction associated with them. Now, a graph database contains a collection of nodes and edges, where a node represents an entity, and an edge represents the connection or relationship between two entities. So this means a graph type of database stores entities as well as the relationships among those entities, where every node and edge has a unique identifier. Now, here is an example of a graph database model or representation. So as you can see in here, we have a node. And this one is a student node whose instance is Hamed. Now, a node represents an entity if we are to associate this one with a relational model. Again, node is equivalent to an entity. So we have here a node student whose value is Hamed. And then another node whose instance is Pajero. Then we have a third node, the course node with a value database. And then we have another student node, but this time it's Abdullah. And lastly, we have a lecturer node whose instance is Aliyah. Now, we associate and we connect these nodes with edges. So basically, if there are entities, and entities are associated with other entities using a relationship. So in a graph database model, we represent relationships with an edge. Again, edge represents the connection or relationship between two entities. So as you can see in here, we have a student node and it has a relationship with a car node. The relationship's name is drive. Student whose name is Ahmed drives a car which is a Pajero. And then we have another relationship here, another edge. We have the student Ahmed again and Ahmed is studying a course the database course to be specific. And this instance of student whose name is Abdullah is a friend of another student who is Ahmed. Now the last relationship in here is between a lecturer node and our course node. So a lecturer, the lecturer here whose name is Aliyah teaches the course database. Again, this is how graph databases models work and it is based on the mathematical concept of graph. Now, examples of graph database programs are Neo4j, OrientDB, ArangoDB, and there are a few other database, graph database programs. Now, graph databases are mostly used for social networks, logistics, and geospatial data such as maps. Oh, here is... Oh, here is another example of a graph database model. This time it's about users in a social media network. As what was previously explained, graph databases are mostly used for social networks to store connections between different entities. So what we have here are three nodes. They are of the same kind. So these are user nodes. Again, the type of the node is user. Uh, again, this will tell us that one user is associated with another user. So again, if we relate this with relational model, this is there is a unary relationship going on. User follows another user. So in a graph model, this is how it is modeled. We have here a user whose instance is Chris. This user has an ID 101, and again, the name is Chris. Chris follows another user. Again, this node has the same format. It has an ID and a name. Another user whose name is Bob. And then Bob here, in turn, follows Chris. So we have here another relationship. Chris follows 
Alice, which is another user. And Alice in turn follows Bob and Bob follows Alice. So this is how graph database model works. Again, node is an entity, okay? And the edges here are relationships between entities or between nodes. Now let us compare relational models with document-oriented models and graph database models. Now let us consider this scenario. A student registers to one or more courses. A course is registered by one or more students. SID, which is the key, and S name are the details of the student recorded in the database, while course code, which is a key, and title are recorded for each course in the database. Now the value of the attribute reg date is also stored in the database, which is the date when a student registers a course. Now considering this scenario, this would be the ER diagram, okay? Please recall how to make an ER diagram, all right? So again, let me read the scenario. A student registers to one or more courses and a course here a course is registered to one or more students there is this relationship now between student and courses now let's take a look at the attributes SID is the primary key and S name are the details of the student recorded in the database while the course code, which is the primary key, and title are recorded for each courses in the database. Now, the value of the attribute reg date is also stored in the database. It is a date when a student registers for a course. Now, after creating the ER diagram, we will now make or transform this into a relational schema. So based on our discussion in chapter four, this ER diagram is now transformed into three relations or three tables. The student entity here becomes a student table or relation with attributes or fields, SID, the primary key and S name. And then the course entity here will be a new relation, will be another relation with attributes course code as the primary key and title. Now, since this is a many-to-many -many relationship, we will form a new relation. So the new relation is named register. Now, in a many-to-many -many relationship, if you can still remember chapter four, we will get the primary key of both sides. So the primary key of student, which is SID here, and the primary key of course, which is course code. So we put it here. And then the registration date here, which is the attribute of the relationship will be placed in this new relation. Now let us convert the relational model into a document-oriented model. I have placed in here examples for each of the three tables. So one record for student table, two records for the course table, and two records for the register table. So, so this is how it goes. A student record, Ahmed, registers to many courses. And these are the list of courses. Now, to capture the many-to-many -many relationship, again, the register table is here. Now, Ahmed, which is 16S111, has taken the course ITDB101 on this following date. Also, Ahmed, which is 16S111, took the course or is registered to the course ITNT101 on this date. So, as you can see, Ahmed is registered to two courses. One student is registered to many courses. Well, now let's take a look at the document-oriented model for this scenario. Okay, this is for the student record. And then a list of the list of courses taken by Ahmed. And each course will be one document. And then another one. And then do not forget the closing curly brace. So this would be one document in here about a student named Ahmed taking many courses. And the courses are ITDB 101, this is one document, and ITNT 101, another document. So this is one document 
about a student who took the course ITDB 101 and ITNT 101. So now we know how to convert the scenario into a relational model and then to a document-oriented model. Let's see how it goes and how it's modeled here using graph database modeling. So in this graph model, we have two types of nodes. The first node here is the student node, again, associated with the student entity. And this one here, these two here are course nodes, okay? So we have here the student Hamed 16S with ID 16S111. And Hamed took the courses. There are two courses. He took the courses or he registered to the courses ITDB 101 and ITNT 101. That's just it. That's how you would model graph database models. Again, this is showing us that student took many courses and then if we add more records to this one then it would form a graph associating one node to another node say for example if there is another student say mamed mamed is taking itdb 101 then there will be a node student connected to itdb 101 as well right so that is how it goes in a graph database so basically in a graph database model there are nodes and edges and we connect a node to another node using these edges it's like an entity connected to another entity using a relation. All right, and that ends our discussion on graph database models. Here are the online references to this video. I have placed the links in the description below. So don't forget to read about graph databases in the links provided. Thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you in the next video. This is the last video in this five-part discussion on NoSQL. Thank you so much and be safe and healthy. See you!